Hi guys, welcome back to the React JS video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about the states in React. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. Uh, first point is what is the state, then uh, difference between the props and state, how we can use the state, and how we can update and change the states. All right. So first question is what is state? For that, I am just going to the code. This is my class component, and state is a kind of variable that can be accessible changeable inside a class or a component only you cannot access the state outside the class all right so now let's say you have a state and you on the button click you want to change it uh, you can change it as a variable you can assign some values inside it and you can get the values from it all right so now let's uh, see how we can use it so for that first of all i need a constructor inside the constructor i can define simply this dot state and let's say i'm just going to make a state with the name of data so yeah so this is my simply data state and this is currently blank so just i'm going to put this text inside this variable right and uh, if I just want to access this then I can just simply use this dot state dot state name which is the data all right so can I use it now no you cannot use it because the state is uh, uh, coming from the react component and this is extended from react all right so for that we must have to use a super keyword so that we can use the property of the parent component also all right so now uh, you can see that we are able to get this state from the uh, get this data from the state all right so now you get the two things uh, what is the state and how we can use it now what is the difference between props and state props uh, are basically the parameters that can help you to communicate between the two components uh, from the one component you send some props and the another component you get it all right but state only accessible inside your component and you can change the value and get the value access the value modify the value inside the class only all right fine so now uh, this is also clear so now uh, last question is how we can update and change this so let's say I have a button and I want to on the button click I want to change this state so let's see this is my button and here I have a check uh, text change the state and on click I'm just going to call a function uh, this is the uh, lambda function and here I can just simply use this this dot state dot sorry this dot set state and here I can just simply write here data and I can use here like uh, start with state or just simply copy it all right this is also fine so now you can see that now I have a button and here I just learned the state in react when I am just going to click on this button this text will be appear on here so now let's try to click here now you can see that we are changed here and if you want to check the dome change then you can simply check here so this is my h1 when I'm just going to click it only one element will be going to change here so let's see all right so you can see here so this is about the state how we can use the states and how we can update the states and difference between uh, state and updates in react 16 in the next video we will learn that how we can change the state in the functional component also with the hooks so stay uh, with us don't forget to subscribe the channel stay tuned with us thanks guys thanks for watching this video